the plaster work in this house is, is integral to its architectural heritage. We have plaster work from the mid 18th century, we have plaster work from the late 18th century, and all of this plaster work was completely obscured by 200 or 250 years of overpainting in what we're calling like a duvet of paint that completely erased the detail, so it was impossible to see it. So that throughout the history of tenement life in this house, most of the residents would not have been able to see what was actually hiding behind these thick layers of paint that were added over the centuries. The cleaning of it was so labour intensive, it, we're talking hundreds of hours of very careful painstaking, cleaning back by hand and literally scraping and spraying with water to remove these multiple layers of, of paint that had obscured all of these details. We decided on the ground floor to just remove the paint from this plaster work above the fireplace, leaving the rest of the room as we found it um, to show the poignancy of contrast between the original intent of the plaster work and then the accumulation of layers of paint and uh, obscuring the detail over the centuries. In our entrance hall, the wall panels that would have decorated the walls at the first floor level had all been removed. They had been basically shorn off or hacked off at some point during the 20th century, most likely to facilitate the wallpapering of the room itself. We decided that it was very important to put these panels back because this is the only room in the house that give you any idea of what the mid-18th century interior would have looked like. We had enough evidence in the room itself to show what the wall panels looked like and so we decided um, that we would reinstate these panels in the, making them in the traditional manner hand modelled in situ by, um, a, by a team of stuccadors. The making of this plaster work is very interesting. It's a slow and, and careful process of building up layers and layers of plaster until you end up with the finished layer that gives you that moulded um, panel on the wall. Then the flowers that you find in the central panels are all hand modelled and made in situ as well by the craftsmen. First of all, it's original making in the 18th century and our careful conservation and remaking of lost elements in the 21st century embodies a vast amount of time and effort by craftspeople. The approaches that we've taken in this house, um, we hope then will guide and help processes in other important buildings that are going to hopefully be repaired over time.